What is up guys, JJ Anderson from the Dirt Syndicate team bringing you a how to install video for Slim ICS. Looks like this is a really great ROM, fully built from the AOSP sources with some cherry picks from the Sinus Mod 9 and AOKP team. It's going to have really easy to use customizable features thanks to the AOKP team and you're also going to get a, uh, a actual base ROM and essentials. So, what's actually recommended is that you always flash the base ROM and the essentials after. So that's what we're going to do. No Google Apps are required, it always comes with that. And five languages, English, French, and Italian. I, I don't know what those initials stand for, I can only guess. But yeah, everything works for the Galaxy Nexus, which is what we're going to be installing for it today. And yeah, first thing you're going to want to do is actually read through all this, always read through all this, and go to here. So click on that here button, it's going to bring you to this page. Now go ahead and click on this latest version, 3.8, and scroll down, and Slim ICS, download link right there, click on that. It's going to bring you to this page. Now up here you're going to see essentials.zip and base.zip. And download these two files, go ahead and click on them, and click on this, it's going to download both of those. Go ahead and click on it, click on this, it's going to download the essentials. Um, make sure you have the base and the essentials downloaded and go ahead and move them to the internal SD of your Sprint Galaxy Nexus. So once those two are on your internal SD, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys on our phone what you got to do. So make sure you download these two files and put them on the internal SD card of your Sprint Galaxy Nexus. Okay, so now that we have both of those files on our internal SD card, go ahead and power off. Then once our phone is powered off, we're going to boot into our custom recovery. To boot into your custom recovery, you have to have your phone off. Go ahead and hold up and down on your volume rockers, and at the same time, hold down power. That is going to boot us into Fastboot, and in Fastboot, go ahead and scroll up twice using the volume marker. Press power to go into recovery mode. That is going to boot us into our custom recovery where we can install those files. Wait for it to boot up into the recovery. Now what you're going to want to go ahead and do is make a backup if you haven't already. Go ahead and scroll down to wipe data factory reset delete all user data. This is going to delete all user data, but it will not delete um, things that are actually saved on your SD card. It's basically just going to wipe the system and everything. So it's not going to delete pictures, um, downloads, or anything. It's just going to delete your actual uh, system. Once the data wipe is complete, scroll down to wipe cache partition. Go ahead and wipe cache. It's going to format it and delete everything in our cache. And once that is done, almost done. There we go. Scroll down to advanced. Go to wipe Dalva cache. And wipe Dalva cache. Now Go back and go to install zip from SD card. Go to choose zip from SD card. Go down to wherever you put those base and essentials files for Slim ICS. I put mine in the download folder. Scroll down and find the base 3. Dot whatever version you have. At the time of recording this, this is the 3.8.zip. So go ahead and click on the base 3.8.zip. Go ahead and install that. And it's going to take a little bit to install that. So I'll be back with you guys once our base.zip is installed. Once the base.zip has been installed, go again to choose it from SD card. Go to wherever you had the essentials file for Slim ICS. Find us in the download. Scroll down. And it looks like mine was right above my base.3.8 zip. 
and it is 3.8 Toro Plus. That is for the Sprint Galaxy Nexus. Go ahead and install those essentials. That's going to install every goodie that the developers put into the essentials package. And looks like it's flashing the kernel. And there we go. Go ahead and go back. And reboot system now. That is going to reboot into Slim ICS. We now have a combination of AOKP and CyanogenMod 9 into one really awesome package. That is what Slim ICS aimed to do, as I believe. So yeah, feel free to watch my full review. I'll put a link in the description to that video. And don't forget about Droid Syndicate's Fly Grip giveaway. Um, we're giving away a free Fly Grip, and it's going to be pretty awesome. So yeah, go ahead and watch the video in the description as well. I'll have a link to the Fly Grip giveaway video. It is actually sort of in my third Android video. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you found this video to be informational. And yeah, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up as well. Go ahead and comment if you have any questions or if you just want to make a comment. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching this how to install video of Slim ICS. And remember, I'll have two links in the description one to the Fly Grip giveaway and one to the. What was it going to be? Oh, yeah, the full review. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all later.